everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a rat haul with some of the things I have bought for the rats recently, which is quite a lot. My birthday was this month so I ended up getting some gift cards and of course I spent them all on the rats. So everything in this haul is either from Amazon, Pet Value, Target, or um, Michaels I believe. So. First, I just have this Eco Earth Coconut Fiber Substrate, and I recently got a 20 gallon long aquarium for the rats, and I'm making it into a dig tank for the girls. So I thought this would be perfect for in the cage. It's perfectly safe for them because it's just made of coconut choir. So next I have these two Whimsies. And Whimsies are actually a chew made for dogs, but they work perfectly well for rats. They're safe for them. And mine actually love these. They keep them occupied. They keep their teeth down. So I just got one for each cage. So next I just have some Nature's Miracle Small Animal Formula Cage Cleaner. And I've heard really good things about this stuff. Um, I've heard this smell just kind of goes away after a few seconds which is what I'm looking for I've been using half and half vinegar in water and it honestly just smells really bad to me and I know rats have just such delicate respiratory systems I can't see how it would be good for them to be breathing it in all the time and I've tried leaving it sit for like a really long time and the smell just doesn't really go away for a while so I thought I'd get some of this so next I just have some Gorilla Tape and I buy a ton of this stuff to keep up with maintenance on my cardboard playpen. It's kind of just a combination of the rats chewing it to try to escape and unfolding and refolding it every night. It just kind of gets pretty beat up and it's looking pretty bad right now. I also just recently got a lot of big cardboard boxes to add on to the playpen. So next I just have this nail clipper set and this is from Target and I don't have any nail clippers small enough for the rats yet and I thought this would just be a good thing to add to my first aid kit for whenever it comes up that I need to clip their nails. So next I have a forging wheel and I've been wanting to get them one of these for a really long time. I'm trying to get a little bit more into forging toys because they're just so good for rats to give them a more stimulating environment and another way to get their food. So basically they just have to spin it around and then reach in to get their food or get their treats or whatever they want. And it just attaches to the cage with these um, washers and bolts in the back. So next I just have some Gerber Baby Puffs. And these are one of the main treats I use for my rats, just to give it to them and also for training. For training, I break it up into four or five pieces and it works really well for them. So next I have another water bottle. So this is a Choco Nose water bottle. And I have another one of these and I thought I'd get another one because these are the best water bottles I've ever tried so far. They just, they don't leak at all and they attach on the outside of the cage um, or you can attach them both ways but I attach it on the outside so they can't chew it. It's also pretty hard plastic so I'm not sure how well they would be able to chew it. So the next thing I have is this climbing net. So I do have another one of these in the cage but it's really small. It's kind of like the off-brand version of this one because this one's a bit more expensive. And they really love that one, but it's kind of falling apart and it's not very big. So I thought they would like a bigger one even better. And it came with these um, metal shower curtain hooks to hang it up, which I already have a ton of because this is the main thing I use to hang it up in the cage. So 
So next I just have some PediaSure and this came from Target. It's a pack of six. So I thought this would be a good thing to add to my first aid kit to put medicine in. It also has a lot of nutrients and things for when they're sick. Um, so I thought it'd just be a good thing to mix meds in and I've heard really good things about it and how much rats seem to love it. And mine are a bit finicky with what they'll take meds in and what they won't. Or they'll like something for a while and then one day they'll just decide they will not take it anymore. So the next thing I have is this fountain. And this came from Michaels. It was actually 70% off sale. So I didn't see any reason not to get it. And I thought it would be perfect for the rats during free roam to just play in and they can drink from it because I cleaned it out really well. And I was right, they're pretty obsessed with it, especially the girls. My smaller ladies like to go through there. The water comes down from the top here. So they like to actually go through the water and come out the other side, which is pretty funny. I'm going to have a clip on screen right now of some of my girls messing around in it. So the last thing I have is just a ton of food. So this food came from my aunt because she also has rats and she recently switched foods. So this is actually 29 pounds. This is one 20 pound bag, oh it fell over, which is what I normally buy for my rats. And then three, I believe, um, three pound bags. So this should last me probably four or five months with them because one 20 pound bag can usually last me a little bit more than three months. So 29 pounds should be able to last a little bit more, I'm guessing. So that's all I have for this. That's all I have for this haul and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.